Hey, this is Daniel from Daniel Dialatone. It's uh, very cold in here because I live in Chicago and uh, it was like high of six and wind chill of uh, it was like 20 below zero or something like that. Uh, so here I have the uh, Korg Volca Beats and uh, what many of you probably know that it does not have a MIDI output but uh, there's tons of people who have been uh, finding out that there's actually a spot on the PCB where they made traces that actually put out MIDI data but they didn't put in a MIDI output port I don't know why probably keep the they probably were going for a set price you know this we won't go any further than so that we can sell it to everyone who we're trying to sell it to. Um, I mean, it is more of a toy. But, you know, not to sound like an old, cranky old guy, If I do kind of realize if you'd be watching my... <laughs> uh, if, if you know me at all, you, if you've seen my YouTube videos, you're probably like, Dan, he's always complaining about, oh, they didn't do this, or, you know, there's... They're so cheap, and they're just trying to, you know, make a buck. Um, I'm sorry. That's just <laughs> that's just how it is. Uh, I do kind of laugh about that. I think I am yeah, a little bit too cranky about those things. Anyways, and that the fact that I tangent all the time. Anyway, what I did was, and I'm not sure if anyone else has done this yet, Someone probably has, and if someone has done it, don't be like, oh my god, you totally ripped it off, so-and-so. But I just realized what probably someone else has realized, that there are um, tons of... Oops. Don't do that. I almost... Shit. <laughs> I will relaunch this while I... Oh, no. Hold on. <laughs> Well, that was slightly embarrassing. Okay, where was I? I'm not even sure. Okay. Um, so yeah, not all the pins on a mini output jack, uh, cable, whatever. Uh, there are five pins. However, only three of them are used, and one of them is ground. So you can actually use that one for a MIDI in and or out. <clears throat> so what I did, I isolated two of the unused pins on the uh, on the input MIDI input jack on the Volca and uh, I was able to drill a couple of holes which made it so that they would not contact the ground plane at all and then I flew the wires from the PCB where the MIDI data is being uh, you know dead ended at but you know I uh, attach the wires to the unused pins uh, on the MIDI end and now I just um, I'm just uh, making sure that I know how to wire up this cable that's why you see all these crazy jumper wires I want to make sure I know how to make this cable which is going to be like a breakout cable it'll go in here and there'll be like a MIDI in MIDI out uh, so I mean this isn't that amazing of a mod but it's kind of cool because you don't have to drill any holes in the actual case and it's kind of an elegant thing you'll just have this breakout cable but I may do some extra mods in the future you know you can add a lot of switches to further manipulate a lot of these sounds and it kind of sucks that the snare sound is so quiet compared to everything else I mean come on I'm sure it's it might just be a uh, um, just a feedback resistor that I can just what would it, I would uh, um, yeah make it so that so I can just increase the gain a little bit. I'm not sure if that would work or not, but we'll, we'll see. But anyways, so I'm just gonna hit record here.
okay, I wasn't dancing for serious. It wasn't like I know what I'm doing. I was just, you know, goofing off. So I'll play it back. And of course, now my hands are free to. So there you have it. Uh, so um, I'm going to make this available as a mod. Uh, it might be a little pricey for some of you. Um, $75. I don't know what everyone else charges for MIDI mods, but it'll include the breakout cable and, you know, I'll do the work. I'm not, it's, I'm not going to make it as a kit. I would not, the way I had to do this, I would never have someone who's never soldered before or even have soldered a couple times. I've soldered a lot over the past few years. Um, so if you're interested in this, just, uh, Check me out at Daniel Dialect Tone and uh, Facebook. Um, yeah, I, hopefully at some point I'll have a website, but without any money to do fancy, schmancy websites and marketing things like that. This is. I'm gonna start out this business. Hopefully it'll become something bigger. But for now, it's actually become more of a hobby. I just like being able to offer people these things. I'm not doing this to buy my next Ferrari or whatever, you know, um, you know, it's nice to help with rent and the stuff like that, but I'm not, I'm not some high rolling douchebag, you know, so, all right.